Welcome to Multiplication Matters with speaker and author, Dr. J.D. Payne. Dr. Payne is the pastor for church multiplication at the Church of Brook Hills in Birmingham, Alabama, and has written several books on the subjects of missions and evangelism. Here's J.D. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this episode of Multiplication Matters. I want to share with you some, some information uh, that's, a, that's about a year old, but, it, but it's really, I think, uh, important for us uh, living in the United States uh, as, a, as a church, as a faith family, to think about when it comes to uh, the international community that's living around us. Uh, and it has particularly to do with international students in the United States. Every year there is a, uh, usually a good resource that comes out talking about the, the enrollment of international students uh, in universities and colleges across the United States. And, and while the school year, uh, the new school year is beginning right now, uh, the, the information uh, is not uh, present uh, on what is ha taking place in 2013. But what I have here is over the course of the school year, the academic year of 2011-2012, uh, information from Open Doors, uh, it's a very credible resource, uh, that provides information on the international students that are studying within the United States. And, and I want to share this information with you because I think it's just, just really incredible for us to think about the realities uh, that are around us of the Lord bringing the nations into our communities for us to be able to love and serve them and be able to, to minister to them and an opportunity to share the love of Christ with them. The United States in the school year of 2011 to 2012, so last year, hit a new record high of international students studying in this country. Uh, the number uh, was basically 765,000 international students from all over the world coming to the United States to study, to get an education. And, and that, is, that is a number that we have not seen before. And so where are these students coming from? What countries of, of origin are they, are they coming from to study in the United States? And, and here's what we see. I'll just share with you just maybe the top four or so, uh, but, um, but, but just listen to these countries. Uh, number one, largest number of international students studying in the United States is from Chi or are from China. 194,000 Chinese students studying in the United States. Number two on the list, India, uh, coming in with 100,000 students studying in the United States. Uh, number three, South Korea. And number four on the list, listen to this, Saudi Arabia. And by the way, the number of Saudi Arabian students, which is about 35,000 studying in the United States, uh, has been increasing uh, very significantly, uh, and partially that's because the government is funding uh, their education to some degree for them to come to the U.S. and study. When you look on down this list uh, of the international students that are coming to the United States, you find countries like Nepal, Turkey represented here, Iran, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand. I mean, students from, from countries all over the world that, that often fall into areas that that we see many of the world's unreached and least reached and unengaged people groups. And so when we begin to think about the students that are coming here, you know, listen to those countries that I just mentioned a few moments ago. Who's coming to the U.S. to study? Who's coming to, to be able to get a degree and to earn their education while they're here? Uh, when we begin to look across the United States, uh, what we find is that states such as California, New York, Texas, Massachusetts, uh, Illinois, uh, those are, are, are the states that are the top U.S. states uh, in receiving international students uh, from across the world. But, but, they're, but they're all over the place. The, the many students are, are, are living here in Birmingham. I know that I've talked to many within our faith family uh, who are serving and reaching out to international students just in our Birmingham metro area. And so I want to, want to, to bring uh, this to your attention today in this episode of Multiplication Matters because the Lord is providing a wonderful opportunity for us to connect with some of the world's least reached, some of the world's unreached people groups uh, that have an opportunity not only to come here and to study, but also the opportunity to hear the gospel that Christ loves them, that Christ died on a cross, that upon repentance and faith, trust in Him, they can come to know this God and serve Him. And may that gospel take not only root in their heart as a result of us going to share with those in our communities in Birmingham or as we go throughout North America to be able to, to share the gospel and plant churches, but may that gospel take root in their hearts and may it continue to spread across their social networks back into China, back into India, back into Korea, back into Saudi Arabia, and a multitude of other countries as well. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this episode of Multiplication Matters. I hope that this will guide your time of prayer and guide your time of thinking as you think about the international students that are studying right here in our own backyard. Join us next time for another installment of Multiplication Matters with Dr. J.D. Payne.